Everyone is part of a bigger story. It's a bigger story than you can imagine. It's a big story about a really big guy. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. Hey friends, I'm Caleb, and today we're gonna take a deep dive into my Bible. Some people see the Bible as just a list of rules, but it is so much more than that. In these pages, we discover the epic story of how God created the whole world, including us. When people turned away, God made a plan to restore us to relationship. Over and over, we see how God has stayed faithful, even when we're not. At the perfect time, God sent Jesus to rescue us and show us how to love God and love others. When we follow Jesus, we learn true wisdom, which is finding out what to do and doing it. I've got four stories right here to show us what it can look like. We're gonna get started in the book of Luke. The birth of Jesus was announced by angels, but Jesus had to learn to walk and talk and make friends just like any ordinary kid. When he's 12, Jesus travels to Jerusalem with his parents for the Passover feast. But on the way home, they discover that he's missing. And where Jesus turns up is anything but ordinary. Now we hop two books back to Matthew. Here, Jesus is teaching his followers how to live in a way that honors God and shows love to others. Do not judge other people. You look at the bit of sawdust in your friend's eye, but you pay no attention to the piece of wood in your own eye. First, take the piece of wood out of your own eye. And let's just say that Jesus is not talking about a two by four. Time to head back to the Old Testament and the time of the kings. Rehoboam has just become ruler in place of his father, King Solomon, one of the wisest men to ever live. But Solomon didn't pass that wisdom on to his son. In fact, when Rehoboam faces a tough decision, he ignores his father's wise advisors and chooses to rely on his reckless buddies. A great way to wreck a kingdom. Time to wrap up now in Paul's letter to the church in Rome. There we go. Here, Paul shares that wise living starts with wise thinking. Don't live the way this world lives. Let your way of thinking be completely changed. If you want to make wise choices, you have to let God change the way you think. Then you'll be able to find out what to do and do it. And that's true wisdom. I can't wait to see how it shows up in you and me.